Welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, I will be solving lead code problem number 142, linked list cycle 2. In this problem, we are given the head of a linked list and it is given that the linked list may have a cycle. What is a cycle means? It means that one of the nodes is pointing to the other node within the same linked list. For example, if you start traveling, right, you will never come out of this loop. You will always be staying in this loop only. That is none of the nodes is pointing to null. All of the nodes are pointing to one of the other nodes. So this actually forms a cycle, right? So we have to find the starting point of this cycle. So if you already know linked list, you can continue here. If you are very new to linked list and doesn't know what a linked list is, there is a special playlist on that. Please do have a look on that and come back to this video. Okay. So how do we find where the starting point of this cycle is? So we initiate fast and slow pointers. The idea is we will never change the head pointer. The head pointer will be separate. Why we will never change the head pointer? Because say after you do the problem, suddenly we want to get to the head pointer, right? So we will never change the head pointer. So that is the idea. Never ever change the head pointer. So we'll have two different pointers. One is the slow pointer and one is the fast pointer. What is the difference? The fast pointer is in a hurry. He will travel at 2x the speed of the slow pointer. For example, if he, if this guy travels one speed, that is he travels here, this guy will travel from this to here. That is two steps at a time. This guy travel one step at a time and he will travel two steps at a time. So what is the idea? The idea is first, let us travel both of them. He will travel one step and he will come here. He will travel two steps. Then again, he will travel one step and this fast guy will travel two steps. So why are we even doing this? This is because if they are getting into a circle, right? At some point, the fast guy has to overtake the slow guy, right? So that indicates that there is a cycle. That is the fast guy and the slow guy will overtake each other and they will meet at a point and that point of coincidence indicates that there is a cycle. So again, this guy will travel one speed. He will come here then again he will come here so he will be here the next point is the point of contact that is they are meeting indicating that there is a cycle so this is the idea but this is not the starting point right this is definitely not the starting point so once you meet what we have to do is we will change the slow pointer to the beginning that is to the head now do you understand why we require a separate head at every point yes exactly so once we have initiated that to head now our fast guy will no, not be fast guy he will also move one step at a time this will also move one step at a time now let's move one step one step one step he will also move one step he will also move one step now both of them are at the starting point so what is the idea we will move the fast and the slow pointers at two two x the speed and one will be one x the speed once they are meeting we will change the slow pointer to the head pointer and both of them will now travel at one the same speed that is one at a time so again they will meet at some point and that some point will be our starting point so why does this even work why does this even work right we want to understand that so let's understand this this let, let this be the distance l for example this will be our distance l and this will be our distance k where both of them actually meets right so at some point both of them have to meet and what is the distance the distance will be l plus sometimes into the circumference of the circle the slow pointer has also traveled sometimes the circumference and the fast pointer also uh, traveled y times the circumference but the thing is we know that the fast pointer travels twice the speed of the slow pointer so this will be our formula right yes now i have just simplified the formula so that l plus k is equal to sometimes the circumference right the sum of l this and this equal to sometimes the circumference and finally this will indicate that l is equal to nc minus k what does this indicate sometimes the circumference minus this k minus this k right so this length that is this length the second half of the circle is just equal to l that is nc or just let's eliminate n for some time c minus k that is the circumference of the circle minus k is just equal to l so that is what we are doing here let's dive into the code so before diving into the code i have an important announcement if you are someone who is already good at dsa and if you are practicing for interviews so this is for you 
So I will be taking free mock interviews. This will be 45 to 60 minutes of interviews. This will be taken for you. This is just like any other company interviews. I will be, I have taken multiple interviews in my current company as well as previous company. So I will be taking free interviews for you. One mock interview for you. So if you are someone who is interested in that, please fill the link in the description and I will mail you the further details so we, ha we can have the discussion and mind it. It will be only for the first 10 people that fills this form that the free inter interview will be connected. So if you are someone who is looking for this, please do fill up the form. So let's dive into the code. What are we doing in the code? We are initiating the fast and the slow pointer to the head pointer. Then we travel the fast pointer and the slow pointer at two speed and one speed. That is the fast pointer will go fast dot next dot next and slow will just go to slow dot next. If at all if they meet at some point it indicates that there is a cycle right so if they never meet right this will come out of the loop this while loop will come out and we will just return null there is no cycle so if they meet it indicates that there is a cycle then what do we do we initiate the slow pointer to the head and we will move both the slow and fast at the same speed and wherever they meet again will be our starting point of the cycle and we just written that. Thank you for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe.